Hello everybody. Today I'm going to show you a quick fix for the Symantec Mail Security um, licensing error. Uh, this is an older version, but it usually um, it usually has the same error. And this is the quick trick. As you can tell, I have a license file in. I hit install, and it states valid and uh, still has 30 days but an error comes up so when you try to make changes on uh, on the policies or even on like uh, turning on the antivirus uh, you get an error because the license has an issue it just won't let you change it so <clears throat> the trick is this is the error let me hit install communicates after a couple of seconds, this is what you see. <coughs> that it failed on the registration. And it gives you a whole bunch of stuff here and there. And when you hit OK, you'll see that um, it completed. It's valid. It's, uh, it's a good license. But if the communication portion fails, this is the trick I do. You go to start, no matter what version of Windows, it seems to be all the same. Uh, go to run, or if you've got a newer version of Windows Server, just go to the search bar, and you're going to type in CMD. And uh, on the newer version of Windows, make sure you right-click it and you run it as an administrator. On this one, we just run it like this. And then... We're going to type IP config front slash flush DNS. Hit F3 to do it again. Hit F3 to do it again. Hit F3 to do it again. I like doing it four times. Now uh, close it. Wait a couple of seconds and hit install again there you go the license has activated uh, what I believe it is since servers tend to always remain on for many 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 days um, it keeps an old copy of the DNS so it's not really always going to the freshest and newest server that's my hypothesis, but uh, this trick uh, works like 95% of the times whenever that error does come up. And um, just for a quick check, that's valid, valid. We didn't get an error. We got the okay. Let's test to see if uh, it'll let us now enable it and deploy. And succeeded. Perfect. And um, that's all you had to do. Go to the CMD, the command prompt. Make sure you go in as administrator. And um, you do an IP config front slash. That's where the top of the slash is to the right. Uh, DNS flush. Well, flush DNS, I apologize. Thank you for watching. Any question you have, comment down below. Uh, and uh, I hope this helped you out. And... Uh, Till next time, thank you everybody for watching.